Hi there. My name is Al Nalana, and I enjoy playing Strange Horticulture. All right, let's continue. Day seven, Thursday. All right, we didn't put our stuff away. How is that even? Okay, five miles south of the tallest, but one. It grows in peace in the midday sun. Five miles south of the tallest, but one. Huh. Ooh, it's a clue. It's also told... Oh, not this. Let's put the book away for now. It's also told to take a look and see if this matched a piece of the um, map. Hmm. I don't see anywhere that immediately stands out as it matches here. Kind of maybe there. <clears throat> but not really because this little hangy bit there. Wow, rain is so loud. I love rain. I am a Seattleite through and through. Uh, though I don't currently live there. And uh, rain just makes me very happy. But this is loud. This is like inside the greenhouse loud. Like, people that work in greenhouses try not to go in to the uh, greenhouse when it's raining this hard. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that uh, for now. I do have so many of these that need to be solved as well. Uh, does this have anything hidden? No. Does this have anything hidden? How do we even use this? I don't even know. Um, all right, let's go put a St. John's poppy flower outside the Sag, uh, Sad Gill Church. Uh, let's do that first thing. Sad Gill Church. Let's see this sad gill. Sad gill church. Okay, St. John's Poppy. Yep. Well, yes, we've identified that one before. I think that was what made me think that I would be really good at this game. And then it wasn't the truth. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take some customers. Oh, wait. Did we archive that? Yeah, let's archive that. Okay. Customers. I was able to stretch up. Uh, strip away the uh, swift nares vines and um, lift the lid with, with no more than a, a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, um, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, with Solomon's scepter, I awake. Solomon's scepter. That's a plant, right? <laughs> Sorry about that voice. I just had to. Oh, look, 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 look. There's check marks now. Ooh, there's check marks now. Ooh, there's check marks now. Okay. Solomon's scepter. Yeah, those check marks are, like, so needed. Um, also known alarmingly as Hell's Gates and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, 
The flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Many sweet smelling small flowers grow along the stem. Hmm. We don't have this one already because it would have a check mark. Sweet smelling many along the stem. So these two could qualify for that. Smell is alluring. Dark purple flowers. Uh, what does it show again? That is not exactly the leaf structure. But let me look at the flower structure. Yeah, that is totally the flower structure. This is it. Right, Solomon Scepter. I wish it would automatically label stuff, but I mean, I guess that's part of the challenge because obviously I've gotten several things wrong. Um, hello, men, mons, sep, scepter, tray, really. <laughs> okay. And then we'll put you over here close to the identified ones. Right, we'll leave the book out, but close it. A letter from the mailman. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swinson Stone Circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem too bothered, but it's got them panicked down by Foxfield Way. Oh, okay. Kentmere Eye. Uh, do you say Fox something way? Wait, th this is what I want. Uh, Foxfield. Okay, let's go. Foxfield is simple is a simple welcoming place. I am tempted to pay a brief visit to an old friend who is a brewer with his own small tavern in the village. In the end I decide not to. Plenty to be going back to Oh. Well that wasn't what I needed. Kentmere Eye Kentmere Eye Is there a place called Kentmere Eye? No, instead of doing that, we'll just... Oh. Zoom in. Uh, here's Kentmere. And that's the stone circle. That be could be called an eye. Huh. We just went up to Sadgill. Kentmere Eye. Kentmere Eye. Hmm. No idea. I'm the kind that uh, I'll just ignore something until it makes me do it. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gilded Dendra that was used at the Swinsid ritual site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations. And it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think it through some more. Some maiden's sorrow would help a lot. Alright, let's find some maiden's sorrow for her. Because we want her to figure out what's going on for us. <laughs> maiden's sorrow. Uh, rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering. Providing a focusing effect. The flowers of this plant droop mourning, mournfully, but it is the thorns along the stem that are thought to lend to its name. Thorns along the stem. 
Uh, what is thorns on the stem? I mean, this does have stem thorns. I could have labeled something wrong again. I don't see anything that has thorns other than this, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. All right. Red Ebony. Hmm. All right, close that, and then let's find that Maiden's Sorrow again. Okay, Maiden's Sorrow. Boo. -boo. M A I D E N apostrophe S S O R R O W. Got it. Right, put the labels away because we must always keep our space clean. However, I was thinking about going to Kenmore. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I think it's Kenmore. Kentmere. Because that's what this says. Kentmere Eye. Kentmere Eye. Let's just go to Kentmere. Mm, nothing. I descend into a pleasant valley where the village of Kentmere is situated. On my way, I pass the Brockstone or Badger Rock, which has always been popular with local children who challenge each other to scramble up its craggy sides. I make a beeline to the village church, St. Cuthbert's, which is sheltered by an ancient yew tree. There are many plants to admire amongst the headstones and tombs, but sadly, nothing extraordinary for me to find today. Shucks. Hello, Reuben Ward. It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Blackcomb. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. I can't think of anywhere else around there you get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that he saw something up at Blackcomb. But then again, Bradley Miller does claim that fairies stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend the night out in the hills, I'll want to make some eye bright. I'll take some eye bright with me. Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. Eye bright. Got it? Eye bright. Eye bright. Eye bright. More thorns. Uh, take care not to touch its brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause severe pain for several days after. A plant that only grows in the south in warmer climates, where they call it uh, loath after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night, even in the darkest places. Hmm. So brightly colored thorns on the stem. Uh, do I have this? Oh, I need to look back through my letters. I'm sure I remember seeing something that could lead me to a new map location and perhaps a new plant too. So, right. Maybe. It is said that Red Ebony. Red Ebony. Extremely rare and not well studied, blood has been spilled over this plant, which is where the red part of the name is believed to come from, since confusingly, the large flower is in fact blue. Uh, large flower blue. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I keep getting things wrong. Large flower blue. 
So maybe I haven't picked it up yet? Huh. Huh. You say. Okay, so I've looked at that. The Kent mirror I've tried, but I'm not sure what it means by Kent mirror eye. Is there an eye on here? Yeah. So if I put Kent mirror here, and the eye points to here. Oh, mama! Yeah! Okay. Sorry for shouting. Uh, from Camp Mirror, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. I think. Because uh, it doesn't have... Um, a blue flower, for one, and uh, for the other, it doesn't have any thorns. Okay. So, if I press this hint again, it'll probably just say, yeah, new map location. All right. This one is going to be hard. All right. So, that looks like water, of course. Uh... Is that like a trail? Makes me think it's over here. Where's that thing? Oh, that can go away. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Can you? Thank you. Just set you there. Um, this piece is interesting to me. This is kind of like a little crab claw. Maybe like here? I don't know. Maybe like, see like that? Where's the thing again? Keep losing it. Yeah, yeah. So maybe here? Oh, right. Will to will to live. Maybe here? Yep, nothing here. Ugh. Mildly infuriating. Or, like, see, that's what made me think it was there. It kind of swoops up this way and that way. And then there's this line there that makes it look like a, a walkway, but. Oh, there's this little thing. But that would be. That would make it there. But then there's this little swoop right there. Ah. Uh. Again, you gonna say. I don't know. Maybe there. Yeah, this one's got me stumped. Let me put my toys away. And water some plants. Oh, 
we came here because I'm an idiot. I mean, it could be that, but I don't like there's nothing on here that tells me what to do with it. But it is definitely something that, you know, like I can't archive it, right? Oh, wait. I can archive things that aren't done. That's weird. Uh, where did the other one go? This one. Okay. So maybe this. Five miles south of the tallest, but one. Uh, it grows in the piece in peace in the midday sun. Okay. I'm the tallest. Is that this one? Okay. So one, two, three, four. Right here under hard knoll. Right. So let's water some more plants. So again, that is, that is the highest one. I'm not seeing anything marked as higher. And then that's the point. So one, two, three, and four. No. Is there another higher one? 978 meters. That should be the highest one. Highest one. It must be the highest. So what does that mean? Five miles... Five miles south of the tallest but one. This so means the second tallest. Uh, this one? No, this one. Okay. So we'll give that a try. Water some more plants. Gotta spread the water around. Can't water the same one over and over. Okay. Tallest but one. So this is 978. And this is 902. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes! The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. Oh yeah, mama, that's it. I bet you anything if I go hint now, it'll be like, you have it. No, this should be it. Oh, this should be it. With an odd protrusion. Yeah. Isn't that right? I write. No. It's got thorns. That was something else, wasn't it? Wait, was that this thing? Oh, I can't put this over it. Okay. Oh, it must be this one that I just cannot figure out to save my life. Okay. Probably just looking in the wrong place. This is water, but it doesn't have to be the sea. Uh, 
Hmm. Maybe here? Where's my little crab claw? I thought it was around here somewhere. Oops, it's a little close. <laughs> All right. So hmm. Now this is the water bit that makes this water Comes down, around, and up. Like a thumb. Uh, why did I come here? Yeah. Oh, this is so awful. I don't know what will happen if, like, what is, can I just, oh, this is all of his interactions with me. Okay. Uh, what happens if I can't f figure it out? I don't know. I'll water this new plant. I'll overwater it because I'm quite cranky. Mm. Will to explore. Got it. Maybe here? Um, where is it again? Here it is. No, that doesn't look like it. I've always had a really hard time with patterns and matching. No, no, no. Uh. I'm starting. I'm going to like just click on random things. Uh, my librarian friend Simone tells me the Romans once used this as a naval port. Okay. Not it. I'm just gonna click on every little thing here. Uh, let's water some plants some more. I'm probably just barking at the wrong tree here. Nothing here. Uh, I'm not even being systematic about this. Ugh. This is awful. How do I even, like... I could probably just, like, give him the wrong thing. Uh, 
this has thorns. Here, you can have that. Ugh, it's awful. I can't believe I like I made such a great discovery on the other one, er, and can't figure these out. Yeah, it needs the uh, red abony, which. The large flower is, in fact, blue. I think this is the red ebony. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look, 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 look. All right. Let me put this away. And these away. Look at this. Ha ha. Hidden texts. Okay. Is there something hidden here? Ah, it works. <laughs> oh, hot dog. Hot dog. Okay, is there a hidden text here? No. How about here? No. Here? No. Mm. Ooh, the great oak. Um, maybe I should go there. Just because I can see it now. Uh, ooh. Elder Finium grows here. Tomb of the Hunter! Alright, this is not getting me anywhere near the things that I need. Alright. Great oak is there. Huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could ever have imagined. Anything living, uh, any living thing that might be, its upper branches graze the sky. Not what I needed. Ugh. I need like a hint. I need like a big hint. The sketch that I have with the X marked on it, it should work out where I should work out where there is on the map. I mean, that's what I've been trying to do. But I'm not doing so hot. Oh wait, is that a letter or a clue? Oh, I thought it was in clues. I don't even remember who gave this to me. Like, I'm sure the person who gave it to me had additional information. But I don't remember who gave it to me. Couldn't mean mountains, could it? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, the people out there who already know what this is are like screaming at the screen. I mean, I would be. I would fast forward to see if the person figured it out. I'm all gold tell you right now. Ain't likely. 
Uh, have I chosen this one? I don't know. Uh, is this one? Uh. The other thing I was thinking is that this dotted line could be actually water. I know somebody in my comments mentioned uh, this one, but uh, I haven't taken that one on, but this is the one I need help with. I think I'm going to leave this here because I need help. And if I get a help in my comments, then I will use that help. But um, I don't want anybody to have to suffer through this any more than I'm already suffering. Mm. Kind of looks like it. Wait. Hold on. I wish I could have the map and this thing on at the same time and not have to... Where did I? Oh, I was going here. I don't know. This will be my last guess, I think. Here. Yeah, nothing here. All right, that's my last guess. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it here. And um, uh, the next time I'm going to play this is going to be... Um, well, at least the next time I'm going to record this is going to be next Friday. If I haven't gotten any comments, then I am going to look it up. I don't like derping about like this. And um, mapsmanship? What is that called? Cartography? Not my thing. So um, if you have any comments, if you have any uh, suggestions or hints, uh, you can be blatant, you can be, uh, obtuse, or, mm, that's not the word I want. You can give me clues. But, uh, yeah, it's this piece that I do not understand and I cannot find, uh, on the map. So, sorry about where I'm leaving it. But thank you so much for joining me. You all have a lovely day.